Hello and welcome to the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. I'm Jane King. And when we talk about virtual reality, the very first thing we tend to think about are games, which is for the right reasons. Now, over the past couple of years, the virtual reality industry has been consumed by gaming. However, we're seeing more extensive adoption across many different sectors, including healthcare. And in fact, what people tend to forget is that virtual reality was used back in 1994 by Kaiser Permanente to treat acrophobics. That's people who are afraid of heights. And the result were over 90% successful. Now, moreover, it was also used to treat returning veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan with post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms, and that was also 75% successful. Now, we're also seeing implementations for autism, lazy eye treatment, phobias, anxiety disorders, and other specialties as well. And today, we're going to discuss the use of virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technologies for pain management, prevention of substance abuse addiction, and rehabilitation of repeat offenders, an area which has been further researched and explored by leading universities such as USC, Duke and others. Now the results thus far have been very promising. So I have with me here today Dr. Raji Wahidi, who is the founder and CEO of Virtual Rehab, and that's a company that decided to tackle this huge and important problem. Now, uh, welcome, first of all, thank you for being here I'm and honored. sharing the story of your company. So if you could summarize Virtual Rehab in one sentence, what would it be? One sentence. I would say psychological rehabilitation for vulnerable populations. Okay. So it makes a lot of sense and gives us kind of an overview of exactly what the company does. Tell us more about the specific problems that you're addressing. So the problem, uh, Jane, is huge. We're talking about um, 39 out of 100,000 people around the world dying every year because of illicit drug use and alcohol. The problem ex uh, extrapolates even further when, when uh, you have the relapse rates up to 90% following a period of recovery. So we, we unfortunately, as of today, we replace one addiction with another addiction, which is why we have the problem of the opioid epidemic. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's very interesting how you can use virtual reality, whereas other treatments may not have worked. Why do you think that is? So virtual reality actually gives you an opportunity to place the patient into a scenario where they focus more on the immersive experience that they're in. So you're basically programming the mindset to think in a particular way versus making them sit down and being instructed on certain questions and expected to respond into a certain manner or else they're in real trouble. I see. So it's a totally different experience than Correct. reality. I mean, it's almost tricking the brain a little bit. Correct. You're tricking the brain, but at the same time, you're trying to manipulate it in a manner that you want it to think in a positive way. So you're tr trying to make a positive impact on the individual based on the experience they're going through. So how big of a market are we talking about here? Huge. So um, unfortunately, we're looking at over 261 million individuals who are impacted by um, substance abuse. Um, and we're looking at over $136 billion mm -hmm. market size. So walk me through the process. Let's say that I have a substance abuse problem and I want help. So what's the first thing that I do with virtual rehab? So our, uh, the virtual rehab solution is made out of four pillars. So um, it's virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and then we have the blockchain portion and the VRH to token. So when it comes to virtual reality, basically, Jane, we're immersing the individual into um, a, a virtual environment, which is real life, basically, um, and we're measuring their decision making, actions and reactions. But not only that, we're actually capturing their biometrics, so heart rate, blood pressure, um, biodermal activity, and also um, we're capturing um, the way they're reacting um, to the environment around them. Um, so you would see, for example, if you have a DUI, mm -hmm. you would see alcohol in front of you, and you, then we'll see how you're going to react around the alcohol. So if an individual, for instance, says that I went through the experience, but it did not impact me whatsoever, we can actually take the gathered data, which we capture and include as part of the unique expert system, which uses artificial intelligence, and tell them, well, actually, when you saw the alcohol, we saw that your heart rate increased, your blood pressure increased, and we can track your eyes, so we, we know that you've been fixated at the alcohol for quite, a, for quite some time, which means that it does have an impact on you. Mm -hmm. Now, the artificial intelligence bit of our solution helps us basically identify the areas of risk, 
um, make basically treatment recommendations along with any prescribed medication from the psychologist therapist. And last but not least, predict the behavior of the individual post-therapy. Now, when uh, you're using artificial intelligence, are you gathering data that will help you with further treatments down the future? Correct. Okay. So it will help us with further analysis, diagnosis of the particular situation. And the, similarly, the psychologists can leverage this data to empower them with more information accordingly. Now, give me a little history of virtual rehab, the business. Um, you, you were a business. You're like an operating business, not just an idea. Right. So tell me a little bit about that. So we were incepted back in 2017. We started off by addressing the B2B market. And now with the blockchain, we're looking forward to move into the B2C market. Um, we have a, a series of awards. We, ha we are actually out there. We're not an MVP. Uh, minimal viable product. We're actually a product. You can go to our website, you can see the actual product, you can see it in use. Okay. And what are some of the awards you've won? We've, well, we've been blessed with many awards. So we've had, um, for example, um, 80, first of all, 87% of all our um, uh, solutions um, has shown um, an impact, a positive impact on individuals across six different categories. Um, the U.S. digital government head, Justin Herman, actually labeled virtual rehab or um, spoke of virtual rehab on uh, social media as a capability that is very, very promising for public services. W uh, virtual rehab was the only company that was included as part of the United States Department of Justice Institute of, uh, Institute of Corrections Environmental Scan Report. Uh, which captures uh, the latest and greatest technology and uh, companies that are up and coming. Um, we were the only uh, company to represent Canada as part of the Canadian de delegation to Arab Health, which is the largest health consortium, um, it, uh, which happens in Dubai every year. Um, we were also selected as, as one of Canada's uh, uh, highest and most um, uh, promising growth companies um, in Canada. Um, Microsoft has actually featured us as part of their Microsoft Innovation um, uh, Inspire uh, event, which happens once every year. And um, w I was very honored um, a couple of weeks ago uh, to be selected by the United Nations as a, a, or awarded with expert status um, in terms of uh, what we're doing um, in social development and what have you. So we've had plenty of awards. We've been covered by over 28 countries around the world. So it's been very fulfilling to say the least. And you mentioned you also are using blockchain. So how is that incorporated into the company? Correct. So blockchain, as I mentioned earlier, basically will allow us to move into the B2C environment. So we'll serve the end user directly, okay. more mass adoption for the solution. Now, an additional thing that we need to remember, Jane, we're dealing with vulnerable populations. Unfortunately, as of today, these vulnerable populations, all their information and data is exposed to the public. I see. Okay? So it prevents them from reintegrating back into society and prevents them from moving forward in their life and bringing positive change. So with blockchain, we'll be able to mask everything. We won't be collecting the first name, last name, we will only be collecting the data okay, that you, you were referencing. Okay, you still have the data, but it's not attached to anybody in any exactly. particular Exactly. Okay. Precisely. And then we use this data to improve the psychological mindset and the mental health using extensive reach search. But not only that, we allow the global community to participate in this uh, research because they have the data accordingly. I see. The VRH token has four clear use cases. So it will, one, allow users to order and download our programs for, from our virtual rehab online portal. Two, it will, in, in case the user wants to have more analysis or diagnosis, they can use the tokens in order to actually order the service from us. And third, Jane, which is extremely important and disruptive, is what we've in, we're introducing to the industry, proof of therapy. Mm -hmm. So if you, as a user, prove to us that you actually have gone ahead and sought help and counseling from a psychologist, therapist, or medical doctor, then we will reward you with VRH tokens, which you can then trade on exchanges or decide to reuse these tokens to order more services from virtual rehab. And the last use case is that you'll be able to use the VRH token to order services from what we will be introducing to the market, first ever worldwide virtual rehab therapy center, which will include both traditional therapy along with 
the latest and greatest technology, VR, AI, and blockchain. Okay, so really interesting. And you are in the middle of a private sale. So Correct. tell me about that. Correct. So we just launched our private sale on Monday, um, a couple of days ago, and we're very excited uh, about uh, this next journey. Um, the private sale will continue until our pre-sale and what have you, and there's more information on our website. So for anyone who's interested in our private sale, they can actually send us uh, an email to investors at virtualrehab.co. Okay, and what is your website? Uh, virtualrehab.co. Okay, yeah. all right, very good. So thank you so much, Dr. Wahidi, for joining us and sharing that important work. Thank you. Uh, very important and hopefully solves problems and improves lives. Thank you, Jane. So, I appreciate your time. And thank you as well for joining us. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site. Have a great day.